हर कोई सी में नहीं जाता हर किसी को सी नहीं मिलता शुड आई गिव इम्पोर्टेंस टू द ब्रांच और द कॉलेज लेट्स लुक एट यू मिस नेहा राइट सो यू आर अ मैथ्स टीचर but you have understood some aspects of online um, uh, recording and online tutoring you are catering to the requirement of millions and millions of indian students why so aapse ek aur question puchna hai what the question you have asked has a one mark answer five marks answer it's also an essay type question you choose what kind of an answer you want because his degree certificate will read btech in chemical engineering or whatever branch with a minor in ai so with us we have dr ayangar who has been associated with different iits in different capacities he has been a part of iisc also one of the founding faculties of the bs course at iit madras he is currently heading the cse department at iit roper uh, we wholeheartedly welcome you on mathematically inclined hi neha hi mathematically inclined hi neha's uh, big army of fans like a handful of students will always have an idea ki mujhe kaun sa course ya kaun sa branch leni hai but with majority of them they are always in this dilemma and this is happening across all levels whether they want admission into iits nits triple iits even private colleges should i give importance to the branch or the college for example if i say a student is getting csc iit roper versus a student gets a chemical or a mechanical at iit bombay delhi madras hum logo ne outside the world ka bahut view suna hai someone who has been into the system since so long in such a senior faculty like you what would be your honest opinion yeah so this is definitely very confusing an option for uh, any student and more so for a parent that is will it be this iit this branch or this iit and this branch so generally as right, you can right. see the model there if the branch is higher the uh, iit will be you will not get your dream iit if you want your dream iit you cannot get your dream branch uh, so we should sort of do an optimization uh, uh, solution there my suggestion to such students is understand the iit structure iit organization iit as its uh, you know legacy has inbuilt in itself extreme interdisciplinarity where a student from one branch can actually go to some other branch and then talk to a professor for instance i am a okay. head of the department of computer science here at iit roper but i encourage students from electrical department chemical engineering department mechanical department to come and talk to me take up my courses do project with me work on a, a semester uh, on a research open research project and so on not just me almost 80 to 90% of my own colleagues across all branches encourage students from other branch to come which means you mm-hmm. join some iit of your choice take up the branch of course you must maximize your chances of getting into a good branch choose that okay. and after that chinta ko aapko chhodna hai kyunki wahan se aapko sky becomes the limit because you can walk into any branch any professor's door is open for you to go inside and then ask him for an internship opportunity for a research opportunity or to sit through his courses har koi csc mein nahi jata har kisi ko csc nahi milta apart from branches like electrical math physics ya fir ai data science what scope do branches like mechanical civil chemical automobile metallurgy they are going to have especially in this ai driven world so need your honest opinion on this a wonderful question i am sure this question wouldn't occur to you neither to you nor to me the previous year or previous to previous year because Absolutely. the buzzword ai has only come up recently especially after the chat gpt revolution and a lot of software industry is getting disrupted by this technology i feel increasingly that ai is here to stay and ai is here to disrupt and this disruption is actually going to be in the positive direction where for instance in late 80s and early 90s every supermarket got converted to it enabled services where they would put a computer and there would be a software and today if you go to reliance all the softwares are connected across all the reliance uh, uh, network right i mean yeah. the, the supermarkets i'm talking about right so similarly ai is going to come in every single branch if right. you are a mechanical engineer who knows something about ai you can do wonders if you know a little more about ai than something you can do a lot more wonders than uh, what an ordinary person can do and trust me there are dime a dozen computer science people i am a computer science professor here i shouldn't be saying this but facts are facts look at statistics there are so many computer science engineers but there are hardly any mechanical engineers electrical engineers civil engineers biomed engineers who have some exposure to ai very hard to come by let's say look at you miss neha uh, right so you are a maths teacher but you have understood some aspects of online um, uh, recording and online tutoring you are catering to the requirement of millions and millions of indian students why you don't know a lot of technology let's say of course maybe you do but from what i gather you understand how to be a face on youtube because of which your msc degree plus a little bit of being a youtuber your reach has been in the order of millions similarly Absolutely. someone who comes a little forward and then says i will do a 
some ai component i will do mechanical with ai focus civil in ai focus metallurgy in ai focus will be the true winner of tomorrow this is my humble opinion coming from my desk take it with a pinch of salt but you will see it happen in the next one or two years and uh, you can come and thank me later <laughs> no absolutely what i gather from all this is let us say mera ek manufacturing line hai ek production line hai aur mujhe automation karna hai so obviously a computer science engineer will not be able to do this alone that means if i have the knowledge if i have the expert who is a mechanical engineer with that kind of knowledge will work wonders jis tarah like i think what you are trying to say is the entire thing will be rewritten now civil engineer will not be like the cliched civil engineer jo site par jayega bas kaam karega wapas aayega because with the smart design where so much innovation is happening we need comfort we need uh, speed of construction so we definitely need uh you know the civil engineers who have that knowledge of technology so you have rightly said this is actually the need of the arc so neha just if you can add one more point here there's something called generative ai it's like right. if i give a description for the room that you're sitting in right i want a yeah. cupboard here i want a small puppy to be present next to me and i want the screen uh, uh green in color instead of a blue right generative ai can do all these things very quickly right, right. imagine an interior designer using generative ai nothing like it and imagine an interior uh, designer not knowing about generative ai he is losing mm-hmm. out big time in his profession now this is going to be the huge rather a humongous change that the world will see that every single person if he understands some ai component will rock in his uh, profession as you rightly said it is it is going to come it has come already and that is where we also say that there is so much of opportunity for entrepreneurship in this area than a cubicle job than a salaried job right right this brings me to a question which is a little disturbing at this point of time why have placements dipped even in iits like overall to hum baat kar hi rahe hain but even we've seen all over the newspapers ki placements are going down what's your take on this kyunki honestly one factor which i feel is itni technology jitna 5 saal mein badli hai i think pichle 100 saal mein nahi badli hogi there are so many things which have come up so what do you think is that the reason what more do we have over here तो आपसे एक और क्वेश्चन पूछना है व्हाट द क्वेश्चन यू आस्ट हैज अ वन मार्क आंसर फाइव मार्क्स आंसर इट्स आल्सो एन एसे टाइप क्वेश्चन यू चूज व्हाट काइंड ऑफ एन आंसर यू वांट बिकॉज यू नो आई कैन आई कैन स्टार्ट विद दिस वेरी नाइस स्टोरी ऑफ अ पोस्ट मास्टर इन द 1990s लेट 1990s व्हेन द टिपिकल स्नेल मेल इनलैंड लेटर पोस्ट कार्ड that was reaching as a kid i would i would wait for my uncle to write a letter to me and i would go to the gate and then take it from the postmaster but then i be right. realized that in the late 90s email has come up electronic mail and this is not going to be there anymore with that yeah. goes away the postmaster of course postmasters have reduced tremendously but you see the wheel stays the cart is gone and replaced by a uh, car but the wheel stays postmaster is not there to deliver inland letters to you postcards to you but he is replaced by a zomato person who delivers food to you directly swiggy person who delivers food flipkart amazon you name it delivery people have increased in number much beyond what we used to see postmasters wearing that khaki dress and then walking to your doors so this disruption that you were talking about is a small disruption for a small fragment of time the world is trying to understand how to sort of um, Uh, how to sort of uh, uh, recalibrate the world to adapt to the new technology coming in the curve is going down only to climb up and then go up and mm-hmm. who will survive here as the are the ones who will watch the market the way stock experts watch the market nah. right they must see i'm a mechanical engineer but i'll see what in ai is going to become popular and i will upskill myself quickly the long answer short uh, all i'm trying to say is upskilling is very important the curve that is going down is an indication of what's going to come up and then skyrocket very soon sir directly to you what is, what are the iits doing to actually bring this culture of ai you know since this is the need of the hour yeah, absolutely that's a very good question in fact many iits have started btech in ai right now proper right. course in btech in ai and we were right. we started it long back and iit right. madras is starting this year right? right but we at iit roper realizing what's going to happen next we have opened a minor in ai across all branches which means you join in the civil department electrical department biomed department chemical engineering department you name it any branch at iit roper will get entry to do minor in ai and in the convocation his degree certificate will read btech in chemical engineering or whatever branch with a minor in ai and wow. employer will see the minor in ai and metallurgical uh, uh, metallurgy department and he'll be very happy to hire such a person as opposed to someone who has only done civil engineering without a ai component 
right so we are giving this open it's going to be hard work for us to teach all the students but we have made up our mind to do it do it in a way that students appreciate the ai component in their branches and after this the world opens up for them to do a masters in ai too and right. any any institute any university abroad or uh, in india would love to have a student who has done some branch mein some discipline mein btech uske sath sath thoda bahut ai bhi seekha hai acha khasa not just mm. hand waving a minor in ai mm. means what 15 credits one full years effort of ai we are going to teach this is happening mm. in ai and we are going to give it a punch from this year onwards educating am... everyone we call this ai for all initiative we are starting it at iit rover as you are mentioning ai for all now i am very tempted to see when can i also start with the same welcome you are welcome <laughs> any time to iit rover <laughs> so what should be the ideal parameters from your side to choose a college or a branch infrastructure building campuses obviously this is a must but in ke alawa and in fact to this hum log ye bhi add karte hain strong alumni network you know kitne active events ho rahe hain wahan pe all these things but apart from that kya aur cheez dekhni chahiye bacche ko before they you know choose any college a place where students get the time and place and opportunity to talk to each other and faculty have the time opportunity energy and passion to talk to the students and when a college encourages and facilitates these things that is an ideal college where a lot of things can happen for instance right. at a typical iit we have a huge 500 600 acres of campus on an average every iit has this and we have all sports facilities open uh, classrooms cabins library discussion rooms and a typical professor at an iit studies i mean uh, teaches only for 3 hours a week 3 to 5 hours okay. a week maximum of 6 okay. hours not more than that outside that we interact with our students we have houses inside the iit itself so we don't have the travel component in our uh, profession right. right almost all iits have this option what you should actually see is do you think the institute that you are joining fosters this discussion between students across faculty and students does it give opportunities for outside people to come and interact with you there and does it give you an opportunity to go out and interact with others these are all very important factors and my friends these are the root causes of a good place symptoms are of course placements symptoms are of course good alumni good network and things like that so honestly sir student exchanges kitne hote hain let's say if we take the example of uh, any iit or in particular let's say iit roper you know how many students do you allow Uh, to come to your campus ya fir aapke campus se kitne bacche dusri jagah par ja sakte hain how does that happen so iit is generally have this option of what is called an additional internship hmm. by the end of your fourth semester if you have covered a few subjects enough that you can take chutti for one full semester so which means okay. that up to fourth semester you have finished fifth semester tak jo bhi subjects hai wo sab credit requirements okay. you have finished hmm. then what we do is we let you go of this fifth semester during that time you can go outside do an internship and then come back we call it the additional internship additional okay. because every year at the end of the year you get 3 months ka chutti jahan jana chahte ho aap wahan pe ja ke internship karke aa sakte ho lekin right. uske alawa aap, aapko ek semester extra internship karne ke liye milta hai we in fact encourage it we endorse it and we push students to do it as well for instance if i have a collaborator let's say in germany and if that person wants a student from india we will ask the student to write to that professor and go and work there for one semester and then come back it needn't necessarily be academic a person can even go to google or microsoft or facebook or open ai and do an internship there and then come back which means out of four years you have an opportunity of eight months to nine months to stay outside your institute get the required exposure and then come back in fact mujhe yaad hai ki jab main bhi wahan par do din thi there was an ai vicharan shala going on jahan par i could see students from a lot of other institutes also other than iits who were there for a course so how often does this happen so you will see a lot of students coming inside lot of professors coming inside our students also going outside so this ai vicharna shala that you saw when you were here at iit roper is a summer camp that we are conducting for two months to see what iit is the 24 by 7 facilities of an iit a professor an mtech student phd student btech student all of them are available for you to see you probably have heard of uh, uh, what happens in an iit we give you an opportunity to come here and experience that at an iit Right. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if we keep aside the older IITs, the older four, five IITs, let's say, what is IIT Roper exclusively doing for the students? You know, because you are heading the department, so a direct question to you. You know, something which is unique, so that they can match or they can surpass it. Okay. So, so um, yeah, very nice, very nicely put. So, my answer is, I'm going to quote my director, Professor Ahuja, who keeps saying that if those IITs are older IITs. 
we are the younger ieits <laughs> so do you do you want the younger energetic come to us <laughs> of course not to uh, not to mention ieits all of them have done amazingly well we all are sister brother institutes and we interact with each other we are one big uh, joint family okay, yeah. separated by states but otherwise very united and tall and uh, happening that said at iit roper what we do is the moment a student comes from uh, je background let us face it je training as you very well understand involves coaching at a very different level be it mains or advanced right the moment a student comes in he or she is not very comfortable with the new uh, phenomena that he should adjust to for instance you should write a page long answer you get into coding first semester itself is introduction to programming right so what we do at our department in csc at iit roper is we call this the missing semester okay. an initiative what we do is every day evening we sit with students it starts with coffee or tea to begin with and very informally we sit around and then we talk to students induct them very slowly to mathematical thinking uh, mm. logical thinking and tell them what is engineering our doors are always open for students to walk in mm. any given faculty if you enter his cabin he will not be sitting alone i can assure you she or he will be sitting with at least two students in our uh, i'm the perfect uh, alibi for that because i have seen this happening You were there at IIT Roper, uh, right? Yes. In our own department, you saw students yes. flocking around faculty, and there's always some act buzzing activity going Absolutely. on. Absolutely, and... and they it's like a home for them. They would enter any time, having chai, coffee, enjoying all the conversations, uh, which is of course a delight to see. We have courses such as Technology Museum Lab, where the word museum means the history of technology narrated with a very good narrative. Right? We have Tinkering Lab. You open up stuff and then tell them this is how a keyboard looks like. This is how an iPhone looks like. right inspire the student with uh, first principles right we also have some of us st- senior students conduct what is called 9.75 93 quarters of yeah. harry potter uh, if you know <laughs> so where it, the missing semester is on this side on the other side it is 93 quarter semester that is actually entry to hogwarts of technology <laughs> right mm-hmm. so uh, they they get creative and many students have benefited from it it's a joy to be around uh, Uh, young faculty for instance in my department i am the oldest <laughs> yeah. everybody else is younger than me so when uh, young professors get together with the uh, uh, 19 20 year olds the energy is sort of uh, mix and match and then outcome is uh, enormous amount of passionate study of technology so in that that level iit roper does all these workshops induct students and give a lot of time to students and uh, sir jis tarah se you were mentioning about uh, the system where a phd student an mtech student a btech student everybody is attached matlab sirf professor nahi padha rahe you actually senior padha rahe hain which i guess is amazing since we have a, we have a knowledge ecosystem where that is what is missing many parents and students don't understand this if you walk into an institute where this culture is not there that there are no phd students yeah. in between the professor and the student are these mtech phd students who will be helping the btech students learn and hmm. come up in life as an instructor as a professor i will go to a class explain hmm. for let's say 1 hour or 3 hours a week hmm. and then come out but it yeah. is this ts who sit for 8 hours with the students and then teach them and they are ha- close to their age what yes. mtech will be 2 years elder to a btech phd will be some 2 3 years elder than mtech mm. right they all will be in their late 20s or mid 20s they can connect well with each other and that ecosystem trust me is missing in many colleges and when mm. you choose a college don't look at the placement statistics look at the yeah. overall culture because yeah. placement statistics one can fabricate but the overall culture one cannot fabricate you go walk in there you will see as you said i am the alibi for uh, what Absolutely. happens at iit uh, or iit right you right. see that uh, activities keep happening doors are mm. never closed our labs yeah. do not have latches it's mm. open 24 by 7 for both the genders this in depth discussion is actually going to help the students because aapne jo bhi cheeze discuss kari they are very practical in today's life and uh, we, and i think this will help students to make a very conscious decision ki aage wo kya karna chahte hain So thank you so much Dr Ayangar it like always it's it's a pleasure meeting you interacting with you and a big thank you to IIT Roper and the whole cluster of IITs which you represent uh, for this podcast thank you so thank much you. and uh, thank you so hoping to have you soon sure. again thank, thank you bye bye bye